Hey, hey, hey. What is up, everybody? It's the one year anniversary. Yeah, we got party poppers. Woo hoo. Woo hoo. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> All now right. Now it's going to fucking stink like a hooker's butthole in here. Holy fuck. All right. Well, let, let us explain for a moment. You'll see that the number of this episode is 51. It should be 52 if it's our one year anniversary, right? Well, a couple weeks back, we had technical difficulties that we promised ourselves we'd never, ever miss an episode. No, we missed an episode. Yes, we missed an episode. So this is our 51st episode, but it is a year that we've been doing a show. Uh, me and Jay never thought we'd make it this far because we're a bunch of fucking losers. <laughs> but we did somehow. I don't know how. Do you like our balloons and shit? <laughs> For those of you who can uh, see that shit. They're 100% real balloons. Um, they are not tested on animals. <laughs> they're, they're made out of Donald Trump's hair. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, so the, our, our band this week is a band called False Solution. They come to us all the way from Ireland. Hey, Hope, little laddie. Uh, <laughs> hopefully they do join us in the chat. They said they were going to try, but it's 1 a.m. and they're all like teenagers and it's past their bedtime. So uh, their, their newest EP out, is out. It's called Fractures. It's great. Uh, they definitely grew up listening to a lot of Iron Maiden. <laughs> Uh, they have a new video for Cheap Heroin on YouTube, and if you happen to be part of uh, the uh, European persuasion, they have some gigs coming up. They got, uh, they're going to be at the Pavilion in uh, Belfast on uh, the 27th of September, Higgs Bar in Lisburn, uh, 21st of October, and the Pavilion in Belfast, 24th of November. So if you happen to be in Ireland and get a chance to check them out, they are playing then. Oh, wee little laddie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So hopefully, hopefully they join us. They even said cheers when we were talking to them. Hey, from Ireland. Is that you guys? Oh, is that them in chat? It must be. Yeah, uh, sorry, chat. Uh, Jay can see chat, but I can't right now because right before we started the show, I completely forgot my phone. It's in the other room. Go fucking get your phone and I'll pour the beer. <laughs> go on, go, go. Okay, I'll be right back. Go get your phone, I'll pour the beer. All right, so today's beer we've got is from Nishimini Creek. It is... Nishimini. It is a uh, Nishiminator German wheat box. And I got it because it has the Terminator. <laughs> it says, come with me if you want to live. This is our take on a German wheat box, but with a small twist. We brew this 8.5% holiday offering with orange blossoms, orange blossom honey, sorry. Keeping true to the style. Over 50% malted wheat. All right. Well, it's a wheat beer. Let's check it out. Did you say something about orange blossom? Uh, yeah. Yeah, this uh, this beer has a picture of the Terminator, on it. and it's a box. So does that mean I'll be box? <laughs> <laughs> it's called it's to call it the Terminator. Look at the look at the font on it. Oh my god, that's so eighties. Eighties ladies. <laughs> while we get enjoy while we get our shit together here, so we can drink this. Look at this. It's a nice amber color. Amber. Mm, yes, quite. A box of wheat beer, but it's a little less crappy than like your standard. Oh, let me mute this. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. All right. So okay. here's the label if any of you want to see it. It's Nishimini Creek Nishiminator. And it's got a picture of the T-800's foot crushing skulls. So that's always a good thing. <laughs> crushing skulls. Crushing, crushing oh, skulls. It's fucking beautiful. And my phone's not connecting. God, I hate technology. <laughs> well, nobody's doing anything in the chat right this second anyway, so yeah. drink the fucking We'll beer. get back to it. So, uh, yeah, cheers. This is our uh, one-year beer on the show. Woo-hoo! <laughs> Dog Ooh. That is malty. Oh. Holy fuck, man. This is definitely an unfiltered beer. It's got all sorts of crap floating Unfiltered, in it. yes. <laughs> definitely unfiltered. They're rocking the uh, oh. rocking the raw yeast. So anyway, uh Ooh, what's what's the percentage on that? Eight point five, it'll kick your ass. Oh god, I got World of Warcraft to play tonight. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, this is uh, you playing. Like, hey, uh, Pitbull Beer Masters joining us. Hey, Pitbull. What's up? We are drinking Nishimini Creek Nishiminator German German Wheat Bock. It is not a stout. Uh, it is really good. Really, really good if you like malty stuff. If you don't, I'm a malt not, guy. Yeah, I, I would not try it. It's it's sort of, I wouldn't say better, but sort of like there's something at the end that I can't get. It's that malty, caramely, chocolatey flavor. Yeah. Um, it, it's okay. If... um. If I would rate it, I would probably give it, uh, I'd say, three and a half out of five Arnold Schwarzenegger's flexed rip pectorals. 
You know what? <laughs> I, I'm going to go four and a half. Uh, oh, you like it that I, much? I'm the malt guy in here, and this is exactly my kind of beer right here. This is exactly the kind of beer I will choose every time. Every time. I like a beer. You know, I can sit here and drink the shit out of this, but it is going to get me destroyed with the alcohol content. But it doesn't have an alcohol burn. It's very smooth going down. Delicious. Oh, man. You're going to be so wasted, and you're going to you're gonna go home to your wife and try to touch her. She's like, get off me, Jay. <laughs> well, she's watching us. It's, yeah, uh, we kind of gather that from your name. Pitbull Beer Master says I'm a beer reviewer. I kind of oh. gather that. We are not. Yeah. We don't use terms like, you know, floral. <laughs> floral? You know, and uh, we, we don't talk about the legs of the beer. We, we don't wait, beer has legs? Yeah. No it's, wonder I try to get drunk and fuck my it, beer sometimes. It's Jesus. when you swirl the shit and it, like, sticks to the – that's legs. Are you serious? That's a real thing? Yeah. I just see there was a point in time when I thought we'd actually take this seriously and be beer reviewers. But <laughs> the fact of the matter is we're just not. <laughs> yeah, we're We not. know what we like, but we are not the kind of people who are going to sit here and talk about, like, like a piney finish. Nah. I have never had a piney tasting beer except for the one that was brewed with spruce. Yeah, the that was Yards Brewing Company, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yeah, like, we have still... an interesting one from Yards next week coming. Yeah, we have a next because, uh, like I've I've said on previous shows, uh, I have not had a bad beer from Yards. Um, maybe next week is going to be it. It's like a pink berry beer or some shit. Um, pink yeah, we berry. yeah we tried a uh, spruce beer and I didn't think I'd like it, but it was fucking delicious. Uh, Yards is from Philadelphia and they make great beer. Great it, beer. Hey, if it tastes like Pepto Bismol, I'm down with it. Mm. All right, so uh, today we have something a little different planned than usual. Uh, because it is our one-year anniversary, uh, we are oh. going yes, <laughs> we are going to look back at some of the fucking bullshit, cringy, cringiest moments of our year of doing this. Uh, you know, like if you ever go back and watch some of our our old episodes, they are bad. Yeah, they're fucking horrible. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> like the first like <laughs> ten, probably you should not go anywhere near. <laughs> we um, so me and Jay thought it'd be cool for our one year anniversary. Oh, I, 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 I'm never married and I've never had a year relationship, so it feels weird saying that. <laughs> but uh, so I, I put some videos to gay. To gay. <laughs> to gay. To You're I'm touching me to gay. Do you I'm need to talk? About, I'm talking about our anniversary. We need to have a conversation. I, I just got confused. Everything's okay at home, people. Don't no, no need to worry. <laughs> so I today we put a you know there's like six videos of just ugh, just cringe this is the shit stuff. we've done <laughs> yeah there's like the, the first episode here we're gonna watch is just uh, you know a couple minutes of our first episode we had no overlay um, we didn't know what to do with our sound yet halfway through the video the the video quit yeah <laughs> <laughs> had, we had no more video you won't see that part. But it's just god awful. We had no soundproofing stuff whatsoever. It was echoey. Yeah, it was echoey. I'm dressed with a Donald Trump t shirt with a Mexican hat for some reason. And Because you found that funny. <laughs> and it's it's just We we tried gimmicks in the beginning. It didn't work. Yeah, it's just it's just bad. And and the funny thing is watching this again is um realizing how bad I made the intro for this. <laughs> Like, when I first started editing this... Oh, that intro. Yeah. God, that was bad. I was cracking up because I made the shittiest intro for this stuff. So, uh, which one is it here? Okay, yeah. So, let's go yeah, ahead. Yeah, you're going to see our desktop, whatever. We ain't professional. So, let's go ahead and watch this uh, atrocity, I guess. <laughs> okay, it looks like that synth pop. Not even good synth pop. <laughs> Okay, alright, 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 good. It's working the way I wanted it to. I can see it. It is? Yeah. So you get to see our beautiful little heads right, here. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. Uh, it is a new podcast that me and my friend Jay are doing. What's up, Jay? Howdy. Oh, God, there's um, nothing on the wall. We're going to try to do this every Wednesday. Uh, it is called Openly Hostile Opinions. Look how serious and he looks. You can see our legs. That <laughs> crazy people are doing in the world because the internet gives that to us every day to. Uh, how Look how nervous people. I am. You had no idea what to say. Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Me and Jay have been friends for I don't know how long. We couldn't figure Too out that. Yeah, we couldn't games. figure out yeah. you have to talk we to the mic. Yeah, shit. look how far our mics are. People are going to think we're uh, It's we're like I was in college yeah, and I used to that. suck dick yeah. for money and I was um, afraid it was like we're here to make flashbacks or something. All right, um... So after that, uh, we got some beer here. Let's try some of this. Uh, after that, uh, I was so Today nervous. Today we are drinking Harpoon Flannel Friday. I couldn't Tommy even say Flannel Friday. <laughs> Al Borland beer. 
We're gonna need Oh, look at that stuff. camera fucking. Oh, that Remember, bitch. Remember, kids, you can't drink so all day unless you start in the morning. That's true. It's, uh, yeah, that's what we uh, told everyone when we were alcoholics. And we're going to start drinking because who cares? Oh, dude, the autofocus. I forgot about the fucking autofocus. just drinking that. For those of you watching on the podcast, you can, you can listening. One. That's true. It's very true. And we're sitting here opening the beer. It takes us uh, 10 minutes. So much All you got to do is slap milk on your face and let the cat lick it off. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, so uh, what do we got on the table today? What do you want to talk about? Well, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, you got to see this guy. Rape Santa. At the Bloomsburg Fair, which is our local <laughs> huge... I'm still proud of the Rape Santa. That everybody yeah, goes good. to. Somebody just got shut down for selling Nazi flags. Well, that's whatever, you know, oh, it's not the no nicest thing torches. in the world to do to, to talk about Nazi memorabilia and shit like that, but I don't have a problem with that. But here's the biggest part. They Ooh. found out that the dude is a registered sex offender oh. running a vendor stand in the middle of a fair populated by children. Ah, uh, yes. And uh, let me go ahead You're and so show serious. you a picture yeah. of this cutie. <laughs> I was trying to be good. <laughs> Look at this guy. I mean, this guy. Oh, yeah, there's, there he is. The yeah, there's a picture shit. of rape Santa. Where's the banjos? Here he is from his Megan. Looks like my dick photo. about six a.m. Right? in the morning. There. Holy fuck! He looks like a. Oh, I thought we were gonna put a Santa put a picture of him right there. And he ended <laughs> yeah, he's keep touching Santa. Oh my god! Oh my god! Did they ban fucking him? made my hand motion yeah, look all uh, gay? Stop him from selling his stuff. Uh, here's the funniest part, though. He had the Nazi flags right next to the Trump flags, which I just you can't make that shit up. Jesus fucking Christ! We have a lot more shit in the background <laughs> now. You know? Yeah, That's why I know we do. People, like, everyone's saying that you can't have a candidate. You can't have a candidate because people hate you for it. That's why. Because you have a Nazi flag next to a Trump flag. Right. Now, I, I didn't jump to conclusions here. This was a year ago before all the Charlottesville the stuff. Well, <laughs> I, know. I, I was trying to be all edgy. Behind a building and kids see, so you can end up on the Actually, we did but get called that. this guy was charged in 2007 with When we were first promoting this, uh, people he was were saying we were trying to be edgy. We really weren't. We were just nervous. I don't know whether that was to a child or not, but either way... Dude, we're not even like talking so, to the camera. <laughs> Wait, read that again. What was that? The audio he was charged is so in bad. 2007 with having child pornography. He was okay. convicted a year later for writing obscene or sexual materials. So I don't know who to like who. Child porn, Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, I don't know, but that's what I'm going to tell. Beer starting to hit us. We're getting more comfortable. There's brief oh, glimpses yeah. of what will be. You've seen the internet. There's a demand for everything. Yeah. So there you go. That was our. That was our very first episode, and you can tell it was fucking horrible, horrible, horrible. Uh, oh, it's so bad. Was done right at all. We didn't figure out how to like calm down on the echo. We didn't figure out how to do anything with the mics, and then every time we set our beers down, all you hear was big thud. Yeah, um, yeah, and then the very next episode, I think it was, is when we bought all the you know egg crate and everything like that. We tried to make this sound better, and it just uh, it helped a little. Yeah, it did. It, but really, it, the biggest problem was we had the gain on the mics way too high. Yeah, yeah, we did. And that, that and that was our first episode one year ago. Um, <laughs> it was, ugh, man. Yeah, it was bad. I'm sorry you had to see that. But it, it, I think we got better <laughs> a little bit. Um, that that first one though, you know, and what's you didn't even go into it long enough to see we, our 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 shit was so incoherent. Like we jump from subject to subject worse than we do now. To the point where it was literally a mishmash of potpourri bullshit. <laughs> we, could, we couldn't stay on one subject more than like two minutes because we didn't know what to say. Yeah, I think on that um, episode, we started talking about uh, Trump. We started talking about Danzig. We just we talked, talked about about computer equipment. Like yeah. anybody would have given a shit. Metallica. Um, <laughs> we just we got into all sorts of shit. It was just god awful. But um. Yeah, I have uh, another clip here of – it is from episode five, and this was our first special. This was also when we had our first guest. Um, our guest was – his name was Terry the Stoner. Here, let me play it. <laughs> yes. yes, Chelsea, we were such indigo children. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Um, Chelsea, I'm, I'm going to tell the story. Uh, I have a friend named Chelsea. She's awesome. I love you, Chels. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she loves it when I dab. <laughs> what did you just hit me with? Oh, fucking um, party popper. <laughs> uh, Chelsea has this girl that she works with, uh, and I guess there's this name for a child or a person that is very intelligent more than usual, and they call them indigo children, I guess. 
So this woman thinks she's an indigo child. So now every time someone's being stupid or retarded, we call them indigo children. <laughs> so that's what that's what she was referring to as we were such indigo children. It is not a compliment. <laughs> I, I was not privy to this particular thing. Yeah. Just w- whenever you like see say you see a uh, kid walking down the street with Down syndromes or syndromes syndrome syndrome yeah just say that he's an indigo child <laughs> and we're all good. Uh, but anyways, like I was saying, so this was our first special. Uh, it was our first uh, special guest, and it was our Halloween special. Emphasis on the special. <laughs> yeah. So the funny thing is, is about Terry the Stoner is, is he smokes so much weed it's like ungodly. He just He's like a vegetable, except uh, without the wheelchair. Um, <laughs> um, so we bring him on the show, and we find out that after the show, he didn't even smoke. He didn't <laughs> like, smoke weed. Like he's tearing- Why would you be Terry the Stoner and not get fucking high before yeah. you get on the show? So he just didn't smoke. So he came on the show, and we asked him uh, to tell us a story. And he told us a story about how he went to a haunted house, and he beat up Leatherface. The problem, though, and I, I apologize in <laughs> advance because his mic it was, audio was terrible. Yeah, this is before we bought a third mic for guest, and we used this little piece of shit. I think the brand name was like Sure. Well, it's a <laughs> Sure. It's a good mic. It's Are you just, sure? I am. <laughs> Uh, it's a good mic. It's just it, it's it's not a it's not a condenser mic. Yeah. So Terry tells us this story of when he beat Leatherface, and uh, for some reason I'm dressed up like Colin Kaepernick, <laughs> and I'm dressed as Death from. So uh, I figure since we have uh, a special guest here, we ought to let him go ahead and uh, hop on the mic and tell us some stories. He's he's got a couple of Halloween <laughs> stories for us. That's when you were oh, obsessed sorry, with that sound clip. I still am. Um, the one time that comes to mind most of all it Here, was get up on your mic a little bit there Terry suck it like a dick <laughs> <laughs> went to this Halloween house uh-huh. and of course you know I got pretty ripped up before yeah. I went give me that fucking sound clip it was too smoking hot during the night yeah. and uh, sad thing is it, uh, <laughs> it wasn't very scary he just playing random sound clips because we yeah, weren't we funny enough without him <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we used sound clips as a crutch oh, yeah. back then. <laughs> we still do. Well, yeah, we, we do. Do you understand <laughs> that? <laughs> she's screaming and carrying on like there's no fucking tomorrow. Yeah. So I, you know, and she's hollering for him to help her. So I turn around and, I mean, it wasn't exactly the best experience in the world because it was kind of hard for people to get scared yeah. and fucking... <laughs> You know, trying to kick Leatherface's ass. <laughs> Wait, did, did you hit him or anything? Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, he was more nervous than we were. I know, he was. Of course, if he had actually smoked. Oh, yeah. I got <laughs> escorted out pretty quickly. So, I, yeah. So, you, you hit the performer. I hit the performer. <laughs> Poor bastard. I, I think you're the first person I've ever met that's went to a haunted house, and the people that made the haunted house were probably more afraid than the people. <laughs> You know, we figured out how to talk to the mic at this point. <laughs> I know. Five episodes in. You think they can handle it? Yeah. You know, and some jackass comes at you wielding a fake chainsaw, and, you know, the fight or flight response kicks in. Yeah. Dude, I was so hot in that fucking shit sweatshirt and shit. Now, did you yeah, I remember at the beginning, hurt him at all? you uh, had the face mask, and you were like, I can't do this. Take the boots to him. Like, no, I well, I didn't I think about drinking <laughs> beer <laughs> for a mask. <laughs> You're like, where's my money? Where's my money? <laughs> To me, he took it too seriously. Yeah, how long ago was this? Oh, God, this is like at least 15 years ago. Oh, man. I mean, maybe... He means like 35. He's like 130. (laughs) Yeah, he literally... uh, I think he invented the wheel. (laughs) He's slightly younger than... Oh, oh, your your lovely... (laughs) Sounds... So professional. Oh, Kenny's here. What's up, Kenny? Yeah, we asked him if he even got any pussy for defending these girls' honor, and they didn't give him any. So he punched Leatherface, and he didn't even get any puss. Trying to save that bitch, and she won't even sleep with you. Yeah, it's like, bitch, you know what I've been through. You know, you ever think Mario maybe got frustrated and just raped Toad? Oh yeah. And then Jay just changed to another level. What the fuck were we talking about? It's going. 
<laughs> How did we get on that subject? I wasn't listening, apparently. Because Terry didn't get pussy. Toad skull head? That's probably what it sounds like when he penetrates. Yeah, but how do I get Mario raping Toad out of that? You ever feel mushroom? It's very soft and squishy. <laughs> yeah, so that was... Um, Good Lord, man. That was bad. Yeah, that was horrible. <laughs> so that was our, our fifth episode. It was our Halloween special. Uh, Terry the stoner came on. He wasn't even stoned. Uh, he basically punched Leatherface, uh, actor at a Halloween um, haunted house, didn't get pussy, uh, and yeah, <laughs> it was just, that was five episodes in, it was just god awful. It's not as bad as that first episode, but it's up there. Yeah, it's up there. As as Chelsea would say, we're such indigo children. <laughs> indigo children. <laughs> everyone, everyone that's watching this, we need to replace the word retard with indigo children, so no one knows what we're talking about. And speaking of that, uh, I know everyone that uh, doesn't live in, under a rock knows that there is elf on the shelf memes. And oh, I, I love them. <laughs> I love them. Jay is obsessed with these I elf love on the fucking shelf memes. The last one I seen was a brownie on a downy. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, just. I oh, know. I love them. I love them. They're, they're, so, they're so wrong. But, but see, they, they, well, the, the best part about them is they don't tell you what it is, and you have to figure it out on your own, and it just tells you how terrible of a person you really are. I know. Are. It's like an advancement in memes. Like, memes are starting to advance to where you that are, like, actually interactive now. <laughs> Chelsea's starting to hashtag. Hashtag Indigo Children. <laughs> see? See? That's why I love you, Chelsea. You know what to do. You know ha- what hashtag to- Indigo Children. <laughs> right around. So, um, got a couple more clips here. Uh, this clip is our eighth episode. And me and Jay thought it would be a good idea to play a little game. And this is the first time we played Would You Rather. Is uh, it? Yes. Yes, it is. Eight episodes in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's quite. Oh, I remember. This is with the Goya. Yeah. Right? The Malta yeah. Goya. Yeah, there's a bottle behind us, a Goya. It's this, like, Raisin brand, like, horrible, horrible. Uh, it's popular somewhere. Yeah, like South America where they're all poor. <laughs> and like the bottle I went I went to the grocery store and bought it and it was like covered in dust. Yeah. Um in Pennsylvania there's supposed to be no sales tax on food. <laughs> and I brought $2 with me trying to get two of them so we each had one. I, I, and apparently the grocery store decided that this wasn't food cuz it was tax and I didn't have enough to pay for them both. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. So I had to have the whole poor lady put one back. I don't know what the fuck this shit is. Like we said, I remember, I think we say in the video, it, it basically sort of tasted like, can you grab the bottle? Yeah, yeah. Are you able to grab the bottle? It sort of tastes like raisin brand. It's fucking blizzard shit. Yeah, sorry. I'm obsessed with blizzard because I play too much World of Warcraft. Um, it's like a popular soda. It was a soda, I think. Yeah, right? Malt a, beverage. And it, there's no alcohol in it or anything like that. It just tastes like fucking... You're, you, raisin you know, brand. yeah, you know the big, uh, you know, sun for the raisin brand commercials that did the two scoops of raisin. It's it it, it tastes like you sucking the shit out of his butthole. It was horrible, Kenny. Oh. Be, because we feel like it. <laughs> Kenny goes, "Why are we watching clips? Because it's our one year anniversary special." Yeah, read, read the thing, Kenny. What? What? what read are you the doing? thing. It's a clip show. We're doing a clip show. We've been doing this for a year, Kenny. Kenny, come on, man. Get with <laughs> Kenny, the program, come on, man. <laughs> Get with the program. See, Get, look. One year anniversary. Yay, go us. <laughs> um, We've been doing this for a whole fucking year. Yeah, so this this stuff just tasted horrible. Uh, and I just posted a little bit of us just trying this stuff. It's <laughs> fucking, right. so, it's gone. Oh, awful. this is when we experimented with uh, with multiple camera angles. Yeah. It was it, cool, but it didn't work. Yeah, it didn't work, so we stopped doing it. Yeah, in this, you will notice that we try multiple uh, camera angles, and we got rid of it because it's just fucking horrible and it took me forever to edit like way too long congrats i'm leaving see ya <laughs> so that's out of the way we are gonna play would you rather oh jeez. would you rather swallow a stick of butter or put semen on your face <laughs> <laughs> that's why we covered right, a girl that gonna, swallowed a whole stick of butter game called would you rather uh i'm going to get them from uh rr rather.com uh, for now, but if uh, we do this in the future, you know, you could always send us options, and we'll do a poll and see who, what you you would rather. <laughs> and the way this is going to work is we are going to put in our answers, and we're going to check and see what the hive. Oh, this is when I drink coffee. Ugh. And if our answers are different than the hive mind, then we yeah, are that's going before to you gave up the coffee because you got all hyper. Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. God, we have God help me. 
<laughs> Malta Goya. And now you know why we stopped at the camera angles. Before, Look at the shaky it cam. Just, like, yeah, brain flakes. Oh, jeez. Looks like Michael J. This Fox is, is holding the camera. Every time I see this stuff at the grocery store, I just think of like it's something you see. You like seal my nose hair. Karate move, like, <laughs> Goya. Goya. <laughs> they are a. I have no idea where the hell they're from. I, they're some sort of. I think they're Latin American or something. Like Cuban, maybe. Yeah. Some, some, somewhere in some sort of brown people. It's either that or maybe Mexican. Either way. Yeah, I remember this, this brand when we were drinking this and taking shots, I had to shit so bad for like two days, and I think that's why I stopped drinking coffee, too, because coffee places. makes me shit. I've had this well, it came out the same color as it went in, too. Yeah. Oh, God. Shit was so black. If we do not answer correctly, we get to take a shot of the Malta Goya. It's Goya, coffee, and Satan beer. It's going to be an interesting battle. Sorry, this is going to be a day. Jay's playing footsie with me underneath the table. I was. Would you rather? Do you wore that like same sweatshirt for like three uh, months? It was cold in we'll here. My heat went out. <laughs> whichever one of us doesn't agree with the uh, the vast majority of folks is going to have to take some of the Goya. Ugh. So would you rather be? Here, let me go ahead and pull this up. There you go. What's up, Ash? Would you rather be a girl with a penis or a boy with a vagina? Ugh, man. Thanks, Ash. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. I wonder if our hey, answers will change ahead now. And be a girl yeah, with a penis that's true. At least I can get get Duke to buy me shots. I know that's what I was thinking. I was like, I could really fucking take advantage of some guys if I was a girl with a penis. So I'm gonna go with a girl with a penis. There All you right, go. You so just gotta watch getting beat up. Is <laughs> we're gonna go girl with a penis. Oh, we we agree. We yes. agree. We're safe. <laughs> I sounded like I was wrong. Yeah. How, what was the percentage? You always sound like you're wrong. Uh, Fuck you. percent would rather be the girl with a penis. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We, we at least, yeah, if you, you look, we have some stuff you know. on the back. Not, not, else we <laughs> not as much as we do now. <laughs> so now we look like hoarders. Yeah, yeah. uh, look how so crooked, yeah. crooked the yeah. camera is, too. Oh, oh. <laughs> I just noticed that. Oh, who the hell came up with this one? Jackass one nine zero. I wonder which camera we're using at this point. We had like five of them. Would you rather shove a piece of glass in your dick hole? Or shove a string of nails in your asshole and rip them out. Oh, man, dude. I remember I this. I don't want to. I don't want to. Do I don't want to. <laughs> oh, man. I don't want to sit down right now. <laughs> Just, oh, oh man. I think you're overreacting a little. Oh, yeah, probably. I, I don't know what to go with. <laughs> I like the overlay on this one. That's. I kind of went back to I, that. I, I yeah, you did. So this is my favorite back. overlay you did. Yeah, I'm going to go. I like the scrolling the words, though. So that's why I have Because that. Oh, fuck, never mind. You're going to have to pull it out. Oh, yeah, you're going to. But you know what? If they shove a string of nails in your asshole and rip them out. Yeah, there's more nails than there is. This is when we learned that people so think butt pain is less bad oh, you know than what, dick though? pain. Yeah, because we were completely wrong. wrong. So all the nails would... You know what's funny about these games that we play? We always yeah. take them so seriously. Uh-huh. I know we do. We get, like, oh, in-depth. Like, we can write a religion about what you'd rather. Two, this beer is making me sweat. <laughs> I know, I don't So much alcohol. It's a rope, you know, when you pull it out, they'd all fold back in. That's true, but I don't think anyone got that deep into it. Uh, uh, <laughs> Literally. Uh, got that deep into it. Yeah. I apparently didn't oh, have my man, sound effect there. One, I don't know, <laughs> man. I'm going to have nightmares about that. Uh, got to pick one. Out of the glass, one. a broken glass one. I'm doing the broken glass. Yeah, I feel like you could sew that back up. I, yeah. And I, I just... Oh, we were wrong. Oh, no. Oh, we here's wrong. our first case. <laughs> you had me convinced there, though, with the nail And this thing. shit, I remember like, when we poured this in the shot the glasses, it stained the table. Glass, it did. I did. Nails. We did clean the table off, but, man, right, that right, thing's dirty as shit nowadays. We need to clean it again. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to do a little bit because I only have one bottle of this. Oh, God. It's just it's like the beer. color of the beer. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, Cheers. Cheers. Ugh. Uh, here we go, our first shot. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, oh look how red we were. Look how bald I'm going. <laughs> you're bald as fuck, Casey. Like food. Dude, you're it right. That like tastes food. like weed. Curated <laughs> raisin bran. Curated? What the fuck was like that? It tastes like a drink. It tastes uh, like it should be chewed. I know. I feel like I need a, like a fork and knife to drink. That. I sound like I'm overreacting <laughs> here. Like the girl who lost oh, a bottle in her oh, ass, the nails Jesus could Christ. turn. Exactly, oh, that's what man. I said. I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> yeah, it was probably worse than the broken glass and the dick hole. <laughs> oh my god, dude, the taste isn't going away. <laughs> oh, uh, you know, you guys think we're overreacting? Oh, this stuff man, was it. It oh, stuck to your mouth. Fuck, I hate you. Oh, yeah, and, so bad. And I, I just remember shitting 
for like two weeks straight. And I'm it not smelled even like that. Yeah, it, it just – oh, it was fucking god-awful. It was the worst thing, and let's just say that we've never done it again. <laughs> this is back when we were still trying to – drinking a six-pack of the beer. Like, yeah, and then we, I, and and then we, we learned – home fucking snockered. Yeah, and then we learned we got to slow down the beer intake because our first like ten episodes, we would drink like six packs of the beer. and Yeah, we'd have three each, and, and we were doing this at like what, uh, 10, 10, 30, 11 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So we ruined ourselves for the rest of the fucking day. <laughs> so imagine like liquid raisin brand beer and coffee. Oh, it was bad. And just the amount of horrible – Horrible Cosby Kid shits I took, dude. I felt like I was, uh, I felt like I was giving birth to the alien from, <laughs> from the fucking Aliens movie. It was bad. <laughs> the, uh, 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 that's how, uh, That's why I, I thank God I'm not a woman, because like I just feel like when I, if I would be pregnant as a woman, because I probably would, because I'd be a whore. Um, just the feeling of that thing inside your body would be like aliens coming out, and I just couldn't do it. Just could not fucking do it. <laughs> no, sorry. Thank you, all you women out there, for having children and having your uteruses scraped or whatever like that. <laughs> Can we take a moment, though? I want I want to say something. Kenny's a dick. <laughs> Why? What do he do? <laughs> He's just like, oh, we're watching a clip show. Fuck you guys. I'm gone. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like someone was the only child. <laughs> I know. It's like, uh, for the record, we do this shit for us. <laughs> You guys watch it too? That's great. If you don't, we're still going to do it. Uh, we'll scream into the void of the internet. We're not going anywhere. We'll fuck you till you love us. <laughs> nah. That was that was more arrogant than Ashley the neighbor. Just, <laughs> just joking, Ashley. Love you. Um, yeah, no one's more arrogant than Ashley the neighbor. <laughs> uh, my husband tells the kids mommy pushed and a little shit came out. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Actually, uh, go a little off topic here. I don't know that why this reminds me of this but i worked at a deli one time and i worked with a prostitute and she had a kid and she, she worked as a prostitute in the deli yeah apparently she wasn't a very good prostitute <laughs> well this is uh we i actually talked about this on an episode before but she was known for calling the cops because someone stole her laundry basket full of dildos it was a huge deal what <laughs> yeah she had a laundry basket full of dildos and she called the cops because some guy stole it because I because because that's glorious. Yeah, she didn't. Suck. It had to be just glorious. It's like a fucking entire grocery yeah. or laundry. Basket. Yeah, when she was sucking him off, she didn't put her finger in his butt. I don't. I don't know. I have no clue. But she was impressed. <laughs> yeah, but she had a kid, and she told me that she wished that she could have pushed the kid back in and had it again because it was the best orgasm of her life. <laughs> yeah. Now, now this is the now this woman. <laughs> Exactly, dude. This also is the woman that trapped me in a corner, grabbed my dick, and told me that she that I was going home with her one night, no matter if I liked it or not. <laughs> I was the only man in the deli, and it was god awful, like just god fucking. Well, awful. of course you were, because they all liked handling the meat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But just just think. Thanks, how, Duffy. How much your sausage wallet is loose? Okay, if. Pushing a baby out was um, pleasurable. <laughs> that you wanted it shoved back in so you could push it out to have another great orgasm. <clears throat> I just, this is why I stay single because I'd probably get someone like that. <laughs> Do you hear, like walk in that thing twirling a cane? Yeah. Hello, like my fucking, baby. Hello, my darling. It's like that fucking video that exists on the internet of like this guy diving into some chick's puss. We've all seen it. <laughs> Every one of you has seen it. They're like, is it real? No, it's not real. But anyway. In case you haven't seen it, there's this video floating around. It's a porn video of this chick who's got way too fucking much makeup on. And uh, this bald guy goes, uh, <laughs> goes, I'm going to dive right in there and proceeds to do exactly that. Yeah. God bless him. God bless him. If I could fit my whole head in a puss, it, it, you know, if I pretended my head was a pellet and I shoved it, you know, in that panty hamster, I, I would do it in a heartbeat. Do it in a fucking heartbeat. But anyway. Casey likes to move it. <laughs> All right, so uh, I have a next clip here. For some reason, I got really bored, uh, <laughs> and I That's thought how of, most of your stories. Start. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got bored, you know, uh, and I decided to take one of our stories that Jay was telling, 
and Jay's wife is in the chat right now, so she'll uh, be very embarrassed that uh, we're going to show this. <laughs> She's going to kick my ass. <laughs> yeah, thank God I don't have to go home with her. I didn't animate this for the record. <laughs> that was Casey. So I thought it would be funny to take one of Jay's stories about his wife giving childbirth and draw – the story on MS Paint. <laughs> we, we plan on, by we, I mean Casey has been talking about doing another one of these sometime, but he's lazy I just, and has no, it. It's just so time consuming. Like, it took me, like, probably eight hours to do this. <laughs> but if you guys really, really like these, tell us uh, tell us in the chat. Maybe we can convince his lazy ass to do them. Oh, man. I just, I would like to do another one. They're just so fucking time consuming. And... It's just funny to I watch. I love the music. I know. I picked, like, this child. I, I wore a bandana for one episode, and you decided to animate me with a bandana. So I, I'm the one with Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> and I don't know why, but I forgot your beard. I don't know how I, I forgot Yeah, I wondered that, too, when you showed me that. Yeah. So th <laughs> this is my animated story of Jay's wife giving birth. She's going to kill me. I, I, the, the only thing I can hope for is that she logged off to go do something else. I think they're kind of scared of giving birth in Japan, man. Fuck but, yeah, man. I'm scared of birth as it is. Like, what's up, you know, Jason? Welcome. Videos and shit in Japan. Fuck that shit. I have kids, man. I was in the uh, in the room when they when they came out. You know, I'll tell you, it's pretty horrifying. Oh my god, yeah. Oh Jesus, like, oh, thank God I was born a man. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> a picture of God. The miracle of childbirth, right there. Oh. Your picture has too much hair. You know, uh, quick, quick, a little aside here. You know, when uh, well. When we were having my first kid, we had to do it the emergency C-section route because she was coming out wrong, and uh, uh, I was kicked that's, out that's of the Amanda room there. because they had to operate immediately. I'm kind of glad for that. But glad. Then they, uh, they're bringing me in to see my kid. She, she was just born. It was my first kid. I'm overwhelmed, <laughs> and they're they're bringing me in, and they say, "Whatever you do, don't look over there." <laughs> and you know damn well. Fuck yeah, you are. You know damn well, because they said, don't look over there, I looked over there. Well, what there was, was my wife laying with her inside splayed open, Jesus laying Christ. on the table. Such an artist. <laughs> <laughs> then Terry runs it all tripping on ass. He's like, ooh, oh, derp. Tripping on ass. <laughs> Somebody get the jump rope, man. <laughs> Oh, you know, she <laughs> says, what the fuck? Oh, my hey, God, and, you're uh, dead. Let me tell you one yeah, thing. You sorry, know, I Amanda. I always show you on, uh, in science class that uh, sorry, birds Amanda. are pink. <laughs> they are not. They are gray. See, uh, and you made them pink, too. I know my wife inside and out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jay. I know little. my wife inside and out. God, that was great. <laughs> Can I have a round of applause? Yeah. Come on, that was great. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> I forgot about that. That, that was funny. I'm going to pat myself on the back for that one all day. Yeah, so <laughs> I was just really bored one night, and I decided to do that. I'd like to do more. They're just so fucking. <laughs> you guys like those? Do you want to see more of those? They just take so fucking long. <laughs> and it's just. It, it, tell him to quit his bitch and tell him you want to see more of them. If, if I had, like, a little stylus and shit, and I do somewhere, but I can't. I have no idea where. It, I probably sold it for crack money or you something. You know, you've been talking about getting a tablet. Anyway, get a tablet and do that. They have programs just like that. You oh, they do? Sketch them out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, You're Amanda. a halfway decent artist. Amanda's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. The Tre Trevor's like, more, please. What's up, Trevor? How are you doing, man? Duffy! <laughs> Duffy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, uh. Like I said, I just I got bored one night and I decided to do one of those. Uh, maybe I'll do some more. I don't know. Uh, uh, for those of you who who don't know, I mean, we post sh other shit other than this show on our YouTube channel. If you don't know what that is, it's open. Uh, it's uh, YouTube dot com slash c, like cunt cookie monster c <laughs> uh, slash openly hostile opinions. So if you're not already subscribed to us on YouTube, subscribe on YouTube because we do other shit. Besides just the Periscope stuff, so. <laughs> you feel like shit, Trevor. Sorry, man. That's that's why when a girl tells you it was her first time, she's lying. No, no, no. <laughs> Ashley says, Jason will draw the story. No, no, no. You don't get it. It's not supposed to look good. <laughs> Jason's way too good of an artist. <laughs> I know. That's the thing. Like, it's not. It's supposed to look like shit. <laughs> like, 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 it, my it face. needs to be stick figures and bullshit. Like, that's <laughs> the point. Stick figures and bullshit. <laughs> so, that's the point. So we got a couple more clips here, just a couple more. Um, th this next one, this was episode 13. So we're 13 episodes in. Uh, this was actually our Christmas special. <laughs> we haven't done a special in a while. We're I know, but all, all of them are coming up. We soon. are doing a Halloween special this year, though. Yeah. And, and, and I'm, I'm telling everybody now, 
Uh, my wife's joining us for that special, so yeah, she's gonna be there. Um, his wife isn't allowed to show her face, so because of her job. Yeah. So she's gonna dress up. Uh, probably like you know, I don't know what she's dressing up as. Maybe Negan from The Walking Dead's bat. I don't know. <laughs> well, it's I don't gonna, know. It, it'll be a surprise. Yeah, we'll have a nice little, uh, nice little visit. For yeah, me, but for we, we haven't had a special in a while because a lot of holidays are around coming up right now. Like, uh, you have Halloween, you have Thanksgiving. We even did a Thanksgiving special where. Yeah, but we didn't do. A, I think we did like a Fourth of July special, maybe. Mm, no, that's right. We half-assed it because we were going to set off fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we should have filmed that. Yeah, we probably should have. Damn it, we're stupid. Yeah, I uh, yeah. I bought like two hundred dollars. No, it was like, it was a little bit more than two hundred dollars last year. I bought like two hundred fifty bucks of illegal fireworks out of a guy's garage, and I didn't know what they were going to be like. They were fucking amazing. <laughs> like they were like professional fireworks, and it was crazy. It was such a good time. Jason, uh, Ashley, the neighbor, was there. Jason got drunk, couldn't walk home. It was a great fucking night. <laughs> but anyways, like I was saying, uh, this was our Christmas special. This was thirteen episodes in. We had another special guest. Uh, his name was Hammer. He's a good friend of me and Jay's. We'd he, really love to get him back on here, but his schedule is very full. Yes, it is. Uh, and I remember. I don't know what happened, but I remember our camera fucked up somehow, so it's sort of like really shit quality. But <laughs> this is another case of when we played the Would You Rather game, but instead of taking a shot of, you know, the Raisin Bran son's ass, we did the Bean Boozle. This was our first Bean Boozle episode. Yeah, we still have a whole bunch of them, so we'll be doing them again. But <laughs> yeah. Um until until we until the heat death of the universe probably yeah all right would you rather fight a wolf like i said this was our christmas special it was 13 episodes in we had a special guest and when bean boozle didn't really affect us that crazy except the one thing spoiled milk oh that one's so bad i have Ugh. i have nightmares about that one the spoiled milk uh Bean Boozle is fucking god awful. It makes you almost want to vomit. So I got a couple clips of here of when we got the spoiled. We got milk. a bunch of them that time too. <laughs> yeah, I know. And it's just it's the worst fucking taste in the world. I'd rather like suck the shit out of a hooker's ass with a straw than eat these fucking. I'm shit. really proud of the overlay you're about to see too. I like. This <laughs> yeah, I know this is good. And when I was editing this. I really, really appreciated the layover here. <laughs> because, yeah, you could, when I first sent it to you, you couldn't see Hopefully that I had frosted the window. Yeah. There with a knife. Oh, that's a tough one. I, I'm, I'm going go with wolf. Yeah, bears, I'm going with wolf. Bears have too much fat. I'm going to go bear. All right, well, uh, we'll see. Hammer won. Casey and I did not. How did Hammer yeah, win? Dude, even right. bears have so much fat on them, even if you stack them, it's like, not going to do anything. Bill Nye the science guy on this but, shit. Yes. The movie The Edge. Oh, we man. gotta get him back on, especially now we got a working ca a working uh, <laughs> One man can do, another man can do. <laughs> say it with me. Watch that movie. That's what he says in the fucking movie. All right, it's chocolate or or coconut. Mm, coconut. coconut or spoiled milk. Coconut. Yeah. Oh, oh God, God. we're starting with right the white ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got it. It was the only one I remember yeah. that day. I literally yeah. wanted to puke. And that's that's a bear All right, yeah. All right. Go ahead. Enjoy. Look at us. We were so young, so innocent. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> I got oh, I got no. fucking <laughs> mouth <laughs> fucked. What the fuck? Yeah, you did, dude. I still take that. I had like a half a no, sip of coffee. Yeah, that's all I had. <laughs> Why would they make these? <laughs> I don't know. Just coconut ones, actually. I feel like I'm winning. <laughs> I feel like I'm winning. Fuck you. Nobody man. wins. You just you just get a little bit better each mm -hmm. day. Yeah. Would you rather gouge out them. your own eyeballs or cut open your arteries on your wrist? Well, uh, obviously, gouge your eyeballs out. If you yeah, open your wrist, you're, you're done. Yeah. Eyeballs. I'm going to take wrist. Okay. I don't want to go get that in my mouth. Casey, you and I are eating. Yep. Really? Really. People want to die. That, right that's now. Mark Hammer. The yeah, it's not even close. Oh, that's funny. His actually last name is Hammer because when they came over on the yeah, boat, yeah, they were blacksmiths saying. and they don't know what to call them. True story, I'm not lying. Coconut or spoiled milk? Oh, dude, this is the worst. Did you just edit them all yeah. together? You asshole. <laughs> just yeah, the spoiled milk was the only one I remember, like really getting sick over. You're gonna dead fish is pretty bad too. Yeah, it was. Oh, you're right. gonna give me PTSD. Oh, <laughs> Take your pills. Oh, oh God, here it is again. Right when I bite into it. Yeah. Oh man. I feel the bad tasting ones are really stronger flavor, where the good ones are just like. You know what mild. makes it worse? 
There's creamer in oh. my coffee. <laughs> So it's like I'm negative. like straight up almost it's kind of vomit yeah, there. I, you almost do here. He looks like he's about I remember you telling me after dude, the show. Santa's oh yeah, I was I was. No. Santa just Dad, about Dad tossed his uh, milk and cookies one. there. I need a minute one. <laughs> I almost puked there too. I remember that. Dog food ain't so fucking bad. Mad Max, <laughs> he ate dog food to survive. <laughs> <laughs> well, the road warrior, he ate him that Australian. Guy you gotta, you gotta talk to him. We gotta get him back on the show. Yeah, we do definitely. That fucking rotten milk taste. Dude, that was really that he might be able to one. do it now more. Like had Tuesday day class. Probably, yeah, yeah, he probably would. Bad. I hope I never get that this one again. This is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. Fuck yeah, you. I almost puked there again. I remember that. <laughs> Look at my face. Oh, I just looked. one is so bad. That that is is you know what? It, this game, it's not so bad when somebody else is doing it. <laughs> 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 Suffering. I'm not eating the I'm kind of hoping to get the toothpaste one just to get the taste out. I don't know if I can do that milk one. I never got the toothpaste one until I actually just tried a blue one. Yeah, I remember that. All right, boys. Would you rather? All right, so that was, like I said, that was the episode where it was our Christmas special. We a um uh a guest and it was just it was fun uh it was fun mark is mark is the funniest guy i know i know dude he had me laughing so hard one day i had to go out and get air because i was dying like it was so bad hammer is a, a pretty tall and like big wide dude a big motherfucker yeah. and he fell in front of customers one time in a restaurant and it was so loud. It like it was like the the god Thor was coming down, <laughs> and he just stood up as quick as day. It was like he pointed to these people. Were like sorry, <laughs> and I just I lost it. I went fucking batshit crazy. It was so fun. I do oh, miss Hammer. Yeah. Hammer actually lives probably about a good forty five minutes away to an hour. It's so, not that. Yeah. Far. So one of these times we we got to do something. We got to get Hammer back on the show because he was he was so fucking funny and he's one of my best friends. He's amazing. Uh, actually, Chelsea and Ashley, uh, if you're still in the chat, you would love Hammer. He's fucking awesome. The week, uh, the week that I went away to, on vacation, he was supposed to uh, co-host, but he ended up getting a new job and couldn't. So, yeah, guys, got Ashley's a neighbor again. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we have one last clip here. Yeah, ha- ha- hang on. Do I what? still have it? Do you still yeah. have what? All right. Mark Hammer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so we have one last clip Still here. here. I didn't say that you, you were bad. I just said you got hit. We got you instead. He's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> that, like, bitch, that, I told you. That sassy blackhead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, it's just I had made previous arrangements with Mark, and he wasn't available, so you stepped up to fill the void. God forbid. Usually I find women to fill their void, but whatever. <laughs> um, Jeez. I'm going to be in trouble with all the women I know here pretty soon. <laughs> What, your wife? That's it? <laughs> oh, you oh I know two. Ashley and Chelsea, too. Yeah, that's true. Um, I look, know you, you fucking woman. I am not a, I am not a woman. You're I am person, a man. You're the only person I know who won't leave their house when their uh, clothes are wrinkly. That's because I like crisp clothes. I think, I think if you leave the house with wrinkles in your clothes, it's... You look dirty. I'm sorry. It's just a thing of mine. I don't know if anyone else feels like that. Someone else has to feel like that. Okay, okay. And now I just want to point this out. Casey's saying all this shit right now. But because you're not uh, not here right next to him, I'll, I'll go ahead and point this out. Like, the, the collar of this shirt right here is completely separated. The two halves <laughs> and shit. There there are moth-style size holes all through this shit. Well, there's uh, one right here. Yeah, there, there's holes all through it. And uh, the shirt itself is so threadborn. It looks if I sneeze, he'll be naked. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yet he likes crisp clothing. I do like crisp clothing. I do. I think if you have wrinkled clothes, you look like a dirt bag. I just, I can't mm. help it. So when he's over here popping collars, just be aware that that shirt is fucking. It is so threadborn. Hey, if you anything, can see through. If anything. I am a, a renaissance man <laughs> because I've been wearing clothes like this, so I'm a hipster. I, I make the hipsters look cool with all the hoos and the glue. My wife says get new shirts, Casey. No, I can't afford them. I got to feed my fuck you can't. I got to feed my wow addiction. <laughs> oh, um, Lord. I know. But anyways, like I was saying, I got one last episode here. and Oh, we only got one more? Yeah, we Aww. only got one more. We're almost out of time anyway, so it sort of fits. But – um. It wouldn't just be complete if I didn't show a clip of one of my rants. <laughs> oh, I love your rants. That's why this show's so great. I get on these rants sometimes. 
And fuck you, Jason. Go fuck yourself. What'd he say? <laughs> he goes, thank you, Jay, for pointing out Casey's hypocrisy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all, that's all he is, is hypocrisy. He's walking about hypocrisy. I, uh, In case you don't know our shorthand, if you hear this. Do you understand that? That's that's me indicating Casey is now currently going on a rant because he gets very Alex Jonesy. <laughs> yeah, I do. But the one thing that I recall is we did an episode where at the last minute we had one more story to cover. <laughs> Why'd you just do that? <laughs> I don't know because it probably looks funny on camera. Um, <laughs> uh, so we covered a story that uh, sometimes we talk about stories before we do them. <laughs> It does look funny on camera. <laughs> uh, Jay did not tell me that he was going to cover this, but he covered a story where there was a Tennessee or Kentucky school that started stamping their kids if they didn't have lunch money. Oh, I remember this. And I fucking lost it. Like, I started going to, like, Nazis and all this <laughs> shit. Yeah, and I just fucking lose it. It's probably one of my most angry rants. And um, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you here. It's not funny. It's 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 it is a it's me just going off, and I thought it was funny. So, yeah, let's go ahead and watch this. This is me ranting about kids getting stamped for forgetting their school lunch money. A fucking stamper. Look, see, there's a rubber stamper. They literally stamp it on the kid's hand. I need lunch money. What the fuck? <laughs> what is this Nazi Germany? <laughs> Jesus Christ! That? It gets fucking worse. These kids already get made fun of, so you stamp them. Look at that slick back hair I'm rocking there. Yeah, dude, James Hatfield. I just, I'm, I'm out. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking rocking I, the dude, Eddie I monster. Just can't. I, I don't know what to do anymore. And this is why countries fail because no one questions shit. No one questions <laughs> anything. <laughs> they sit you went there. up oh, I get deep. Oh, I get fact, deep. They did question it, bitch. But anyway, uh, but it happened. Whose idea was that? I Who is know. in charge that thought it would be a good That's idea so to mark a phone. kid like a fucking cattle? Here, listen to this. So the guy whose Jesus son comes Christ. home. The guy. <laughs> that, oh. Who? Who? Jesus Christ! Who? 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 And I'm not an owl. That Jake. <laughs> who that is Jake in charge? Come over. And Fuck who you, Duffy. had the fucking idea of doing that? And that's what I'm saying. When you start doing shit like this, your job isn't educating kid kids. Your job is fucking training kids. This sounds like some kind of fucking Why weird are we so blurry from a 1984 know. book. It is fucking It's like we have a sick. fucking like haze it over the so screen. We rub Vaseline I mean, and shit on it. Beer bottle and fucking it's like alley fight a Scottish man over a soccer game. <laughs> I just, I, just, I, I, can't, I like, don't know. I'm lost for words. Dude, it looks like in oh, the old sitcoms. You're going, I know, but the people that indicate this kid got a stamp. Who fucking stamped him? You thought the person that stamped got a stamp him? For me. You're God, a you're shaking. I, I don't know, care dude. if you're a 350 pound man. I want to fight you. I want to <laughs> fight you. And then after I fight you, and I'm gonna fucking beat the fuck out of you. I'm gonna eat fucking food over you. And I'm gonna throw it up all over you, and then eat my throw, <laughs> throw it again on you, you sick fuck. And that's what I'm saying. People are questioning it. But uh, as we trying to get you derailed. The person that was told to stamp that I'm kid. I'm so serious, man. It. This is 100% be serious. Hey, who I'm made so this mad. Stamper? Hey, SS troops, go over there and shoot those Jews. What'd they do? Oh, I don't know. They're Jewish. Oh, okay. You don't fucking question oh, shit. Oh man, bad you... shit happens. Fucking question things. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> that might be your most epic rant. <laughs> That's, I forgot about that yeah, one. I was so pissed, dude. I was just like, <laughs> anyone that watches this show, they know I'm a miserable piece of shit. But the one thing that I, you know, actually have faith in this world is children because they have innocence. They have their lives ahead of them and stuff like that. So when I see, you know. These fucking school scamping, stamping kids with I forgot the lunch money, like fucking cattle or something. I just went off, dude. I was so pissed. D Duffy <laughs> says there's the Jew jokes. He wasn't using it as jokes. He was using it as, uh, like, this is the slippery slope we're leading to. Yeah. I, it and, wasn't even jokes he was making. And that's the funny thing. He was thing. so serious at that point. He, he literally, after we got off the camera, he <laughs> literally started shaking. Yeah, because I was so mad. And that's the thing. I'm so serious. Like, like not serious all the time when i am serious it's hard to tell i was actually that serious there no i did not get a bathroom door yet trevor you know what you know what casey <laughs> i think we should do another patreon only video i think we should do a tour of casey's house yeah we could do that 
That would be hilarious, don't you think? Yeah, we, we'll okay. actually do that. So sometime in the near future, we'll do a do a Patreon only uh, video, the tour of Casey's house. Yeah, we'll actually even. Um, I'll show you where I live. It's like a town in the middle of nowhere. I'll sh- I walk out back. I have like a really nice creek out back. Oh, you and- got You got to show him the house with the with the writing on the side. I, I'm not gonna give it away. I'm not gonna give it away. <laughs> with a black light. No, you don't. Nor any other door. Yeah, Jason's right about that. There's no doors there. Yeah, there's no doors. There's no doors there. But but that was the last. of the We clips. have a bass player. Yeah, that was the last of the clips. <laughs> um, I just thought it would be cool. Uh, for our one-year anniversary to show some clips, I thought it was funny. It was it was a little weird looking back on some stuff, but I hope you guys enjoyed oh, it. Oh, it's so cringy. Um, we just thought it would be cool, something to do. If you do want to watch older episodes, all of them are on YouTube. Like we said, this is our one year, so there's 50. We missed one, so there's 51 of them. Uh, remember, that's YouTube.com slash C slash Openly Hostile Opinions. Uh, this episode has been brought to you by the DNHSquad.com. If you are into fitness, sports, or any of those kind of things, go to dnhsquad.com to find other fitness enthusiasts that you can chat with. You can join the community. You can buy cool shit. You can do all sorts of stuff. As long as you uh, you have some sort of interest in like-minded people who are into fitness, running, or any sporting events, go to dnhsquad.com and join the community. Trevor wants to know if you joined. <laughs> Can I join? <laughs> That's a good I one, actually am a member. I am a member. <laughs> Doesn't show, but you know. <laughs> Fuck you, dick. <laughs> I walked today. <laughs> I walked today to the fridge to get a beer. <laughs> <laughs> I was on a spin bike. A spin bike. Jesus Christ. But th- like I said, that's that. That was thanks for everyone. Um, thanks to Ashley, Jason, Chelsea. Uh, even Megan, I don't know if you're watching, but you guys have been supportive lately of the show and everything like that. Um, our wall of badass people, KP Smith, um, we already mentioned Jason, but Malcav, uh, and Cricket. Uh, we wouldn't be – Cricket has been one of the, like, the craziest people. Like, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Cricket. So if you do watch this, Cricket, thank you so much. It's been a year, and you definitely helped us get yeah, here. Yeah, you moved us forward big yeah, time. Yeah, we were so scared to do live streaming and stuff, but you, you – pushed us into yeah, it. Yeah, you pushed us into it. And we were like that motherfucker at first, but now we just we can't thank you enough. Uh, if you if you like what we're doing and you want another year of this crazy insanity that we call the Openly Hostile Opinions podcast, uh, the best way that you can do that is either jump on our website and buy a shirt uh, or or some other type of merchandise. Right now we have the limited edition only for this season, our Halloween shirt. It says "No Lives Matter." It's got our little ad guy there wearing a, uh, a a hockey mask with an axe. I think it's really cool. It's my favorite shirt we've ever done. Uh, so if you got a chance, get on there, openlyhostileopinions.com, our shop there. Click the link, buy the shirt. It's really cool. The other thing you could do that would be a huge, huge help to us is become a patron at patreon.com. If you go to patreon.com slash openlyhostileopinions, you can uh, sign up for as little as a dollar an episode, which is four bucks a month. You pay more than that for a shitty Starbucks coffee. <laughs> no. Uh, and, and that would help white us. White girl problems. Hashtag white girl problems. <laughs> hey, yeah, that, there you go. Ha- hashtag basic, basic white bitch. Uh, pumpkin spice everything. <laughs> anyway, if you would sign up as a Patreon, that would be an immense help to us. We do need a new computer to do the uh, podcast with, so that's our newest. Yeah, that's our main goal, goal right now. Uh, my house constantly tries to kill me so my computer got fried so we're we're focusing on that but um speaking of that one thing we are out of time but we got to cover one more thing me and jay were talking and we think since it's been a year we are gonna take the next step in doing you know some different things for the podcast uh you know we we did a lot you know we changed stuff we you know, didn't just do YouTube. Now we're live streaming. But since we think it's a year, we're going to try to really up our social media. So uh, not only social media, but our website. And we are basically going to start being, I, I wouldn't know what you call it, uh, not a news source, but we're just going to start. content network. Yeah, we're a content network. So me and Jay, uh, we osh, oh, Junior, um, we also uh, – Jason has been on the show. Ashley has been on the show. Uh, we talked to them, um, and we are all going to just start writing articles. We're going to be posting them on our website and then going from our website, posting them onto Twitter, Facebook, and we're also going to be making short clips, uh, just covering things. 
Ashley what? says she wants to do a lot of, you know, women's stuff. I'm calling her. Um, and Jay, you know, wants to do whatever he wants. I'm going to do whatever I want. Jason might be covering some vinyl. He's really into vinyl, so if you like music, stick around to that. See, but that's should... because Jason is old. <laughs> anyway, yeah, when, yeah, so, uh, when uh, Jason was younger, rainbows were in black and white. <laughs> but uh, uh, To stay on top of all of this, so, uh, go to our website. It's openlyhostileopinions.com. We will post everything on there. Yes, and then we're going to share all through our social media. But we thought that was a good, uh, good idea to step up something. Uh, it's been a year. We are very thankful to have people watch us for a year. We can't thank you enough, trust me. And uh, we just thought that was a good idea. So stay tuned for that. Uh, follow us on social media, Facebook, and everything like that to keep up. Uh, Trevor, we'll get in touch with you about that. He wants to write some articles as well. Dude, uh, awesome. Trevor. I, I will get in touch touch with you about that. Uh, I'll shoot you a message through you. Uh, shoot you a message. Chill out, Ashley. You're not that fucking special. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I'll, I'll get in touch with you uh, over Twitter, brother. Yeah, we would love that, Trevor. Uh, a lot of your interesting stories about ghost stories and portals and shit. Dude, do it up. That's what we want. We want to be more content creators. Yeah, we, w we, want, uh, we want more people part of the OHO Networks. Anyway, we got to wrap this shit up. We had a great time. Uh, I hope we have another year with y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, follow us on Twitter. Follow us on uh, Facebook. Follow us on Google+. Plus. Uh, please don't follow us in real life. We, we, we don't like stalkers. I like it. But anyways, <laughs> thanks again, guys. Thank you for a year. We're doing this another year. Thank you very much. Have a good night. <laughs>